Our favorite game, the best game in the world, Diablo Immortal, has had 30 million players. And it's estimated to have made over a hundred million dollars. I know. A surprise to literally no one. That's right. Downvoting it or giving it one star on Metacritic didn't matter. Because you know why? The people in China, they don't speak English. They don't see that. They're still buying their five star gems. And apparently there's a lot of people here that don't give a fuck either. Nobody gives a shit. And so this is what happened, and it even said, this is it. Um, it's written by a guy named Rich, so you no know, surprise, you know, this is going to be his perspective. Uh, the microtransactions didn't put a wider audience off. That's right, and you can see right over here, and this is the uh, Diablo Immortal, uh, the, the page here, 30 million installs on Diablo Immortal. And this was just a few days ago. The game is growing and becoming more powerful every single day. Evil is uh, evil is growing every day. And that seems what happened. They did not get one red cent from me. That's right. And your money doesn't matter because there's an oil prince that's going to pay more than you're ever going to see in your fucking life. And that's why these games keep happening. And that's why more games are going to keep being made like this. Is because there's somebody out there who's going to spend... Oh... I don't know... A hundred thousand dollars on Diablo Immortal? Well, we've got a video to watch today. And it's gonna be about that exact topic. Now, we've watched JT before. Now, he's been a uh, Diablo Immortal... ...investor. Uh, for a long time. Since the game came out, and before that, he was an investor in other games as well. So, we're gonna see uh, where, where he's at, because he's, uh, he's played Diablo Immortal a uh, hundred thousand dollars of, of play time so that's probably at least a few hours and he's asking should he refund his entire game what's going on guys this is JT here I wanted to explain exactly what's going down and the issue I'm having not only that how many people it is actually affecting I do have my boy Skelta with me who is a heavy well in the game he's just kind of listening in and he's gonna give me feedback because he does not know what's going on however I do want to explain and I want to explain to all you guys as well so basically for the last month and a half anytime yeah. I go to the battleground captain and I click find match I have not been able to get a queue for the full two hour length of the battlegrounds right zero so he spent so much money and he's on he's on so much of a higher level than everybody else they have made it to where like nobody can even queue into him there's nobody that is on his power level that exists on the earth so he's sitting there yeah it's a whale he can't find food and look, he's talking about refunding the game. He's going extinct. It's just what I said. Where's the minnows? Where's my fucking minnows? I'm hungry. Pro queues, no matter how long I've queued up, and this has now been ongoing for a month and a half. Yep. All right, well, three weeks ago, my clan one time became the Immortals of Server Town Portal. Well, as we became immortal, the Immortal Trial Quest told me specifically to compete in a battleground in order right. to compete the trial. Therefore, I would need to actually do these quests to actually get... So Immortal means that you spent a lot of money. The Immortal Wings, you know, what everybody else has and be anointed and immortal. However, since right. I haven't been able to queue in the battleground, which I would say if I had to rough estimate how many hours I've tried to queue for a battleground, I would say it's probably around somewhere around like 48 to 72 hours, somewhere in between that of only trying to queue for a battleground and never being able to get one. So right. this guy, like, he's been trying to play the game for, I mean, like you think about this. And, like, you can't queue a BG all the time. Like, you guys got to understand, like, uh, Battlegrounds in, uh, like, there are, it's like a feeding session. Where, like, the whales, like, they have dedicated two-hour feeding sessions in Diablo Immortal where they can feast on the whales or, the you know, the mini whales and the minnows and the krill and, you know, all the smaller fish in the sea. But they, they can't just be eaten all the time. So... Whenever he says 48 or, or fucking uh, 72 hours, somewhere between that, like, we're talking about, like, what, 24 times 
that he's been there waiting the queue. Well, today we it came around, and tomorrow yeah. is our chance to hold the reign of being an immortal. Oh right? man! Well, it, it it sent me a uh, it sent me a little thing right here, and it said, "Hold on, let me click it. It's right here. It says." register for the right of exile now tap to navigate so it's like all right well i have to register my team and me for the right of exile right right, right yeah. so whenever i click navigate here i know exactly where to go so he's going go to navigate over the right of just... exile i mean it's going to take me right there right so we'll just let it follow that. it just auto so whenever i over. get here i am not able to do anything at all which makes me think that tomorrow, when the Rite of Exile comes, I'm not going to be able to participate in it, right? Okay, so that's fine. I'm not going to be able to participate in it. What do I do at this point, right? So now... So he's, I yeah, he's so high item level. He's got so much gear. The game system, like, it literally can't cue him with anybody. And I know what Blizzard should do. They should just make it to where he just queues with lower level players. I mean, he spent a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, he should be able to kill people in PvP. I think that's kind of fair at that point. Fuck, that's a lot of money. I've been thinking, I'm like, all right, well, since I'm in this situation, how about I go ahead and go over here to clan members? Yeah. And we change the role. And see, I'm a clan leader, right? So I'm the clan leader. So I'm like, all right, well, if I leave the immortal, basically maybe it will give the immortal to somebody else. And right, then yeah. we can we can sign up and get things going right. Well, if I click leave the immortal, it doesn't allow me to do that, right? And so it tells me to basically give the position to somebody else. Well, let's say I try to give this guy clan leadership. You can't I do can't it. perform this role either. So basically, I'm stuck. So the game just, it, it's, it's actually just garbage. It actually just doesn't work. Like, it, it's partly his, it, it's partly because he's got a high item level, but like the functionality of the menus doesn't exist. It, <laughs> he got beached. Yeah, he did. He got, they beached him. He can't move. He can't go anywhere. He's just laying there. As the clan leader in the immortal clan, not being able to queue us up for Rite of Exile at all. I can't do anything about it. I can't set up the teams. I, therefore, basically what's going to happen is, at least in my opinion, oh I'm my not God, sure because I'll have to see amazing. tomorrow. But I'm thinking that, honestly, yeah. the, whoever the Shadow Clan is that's fighting for Immortals probably going to be fighting against bots because... I can't, I can't register. The, the mortal of the clan can't, can't yeah. register. So basically, we're just going to be handing over our mortal status. Now, just so you guys know, Fuck we have a clan of 300 members that are in this. We're all on Discord together. There's hundreds of us that are in clan one time specifically that I know that are my good... You think about, like, uh, like uh, think about, it. let's say there's 300 people in this guild. How much money is this guild making Blizzard? I mean, I think it's easy. You could assume it's over a million dollars, right? Like we're talking like two, three, four million dollars they're making out of one clan. Meanwhile, like my guild, Indestructible, we've got 900 people in the guild and Blizzard's probably making a few thousand bucks. Well, what's boycott the game? That's going to work. Uh-huh. That's a lot of money, okay? Who have spent in upwards of five thousand or more dollars on their character since we've become immortal to hold so our So there it is, there. He said right there. Let's assume that the that the median number, that the base number average uh, mean uh number is five thousand. So five thousand times three hundred, what the fuck is that? Like it, it that's a lot of fucking money, I'll say that for sure. That's like was that one and a half million? Yeah, I think it's one and a half million, right? Yeah, there you go. And that's minimum. Array. Well, now all these guys are pissed okay, off because there's like, you know, I mean, oh there's 30 or 40 guys that at minimum spent a thousand dollars and none of these guys are now, I'm basically holding everybody back at this point. So now my question is, oh my how God. long do I let this go and let Blizzard go about this? Because I contacted Blizzard about a month, a little over a month ago about this situation. And what happened was at first is I went to the live chat. And, and the truth is like Blizzard is in the wrong here. Like he should, even if he can't queue into anybody else because his item level is too high, that's fine. But like he should be able to transfer leader to somebody else so they can queue for him.
right? I mean, boys are. I mean, yeah, it, it, they're st they're in the wrong here. But like, it's funny to watch them get fucked over, right? For a lot of people in chat, because it's like, oh well, this guy spent a bunch of money, and you know, it's like turned out to be bad for him. So like, people were like, haha, that's funny. But the reality is that this is actually Blizzard fucked up. Yeah, no sympathy. Yeah, it, it's no sympathy. But like, you gotta admit that like, it, it, it's not really his fault. They then told me to go to the forums and make oh, a forum post about it because that's how it. they react to people. So I went and made a forum post about it. I sent my entire Twitch audience to the forum post to try to get it, like, basically to fire it up, right? To be like, hey, guys, check yeah. this out. Like, this is an important post. This guy can't get into battlegrounds. Yep. This is an issue. It well, there was over, I think, 200 comments on it. Tons of people liked it. They were trying to help. Yep. Well, since that has been posted over three weeks ago, Blizzard has not responded one time to that forum post. They completely ignored it. So what did I do after that? I went ahead and wrote Blizzard on Twitter to whatever Blizzard employee I could find. So nothing happened. He made a tweet and it didn't happen. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something, man. Whenever the shareholders get wind of this, JT, I mean, they're going to they're gonna fix this situation. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Like, I don't know what else is wrong with the game, but I know this is going to get fixed. Blizzard got back with me on Twitter, Twitter and they said, we're not really sure, like, what to do about the situation. We know it's MMR-based. That's why you can't get into the battleground. However, it we should have it fixed in two weeks, but, you know, we're not really sure. So it's like, uh, okay, two, so now I'm in a situation weeks. where I have spent a considerable amount of money, around $100,000 on this game, and I have a character. You think about that, man. That's $100,000 fucking dollars. $100,000. There's the money right there. Omega Giga Whale. Like, it is a, I would agree with him that it is a considerable amount of money. That's a lot of money. He got, and he got beached, man. ...that has not been able to do the thing that I like doing the most in this game, which is Battlegrounds. I wonder also, why. Also, I'm trying to make money from this game as being a content creator, yeah, plus live streaming this game on Twitch, right? True. So if I can't do things that I spent money on this character to do... And it's bad for Blizzard, because you think about it like this. So for every, like, if people want to watch, like, there will be other prospective whales, you know, kids that, you know, their parents just let them spend however much money they want uh, on video games or other, you know, guys that are bored that have a lot of money that's disposable income. Uh, they are going to look up for Diablo Immortal, you know, highest rated players. And they're going to think like, oh, what's it like to play this game? And if they look it up and they see this video, well, they're not going to want to play the game. So it's bad for Blizzard that this happened. Like, it's, it might be funny to you that this guy's getting fucked over, but I can guarantee you this is going to get fixed. It looks very And I bad. have no time frame of when things are going to actually be fixed or even know if things are going to be yeah. fixed because I'm the only player in the entire world with this problem. And the problem I'm having is, is when I first started this game, I spent a ton of money right at the start, right? You did. So I was way far ahead of everybody else. And what happens is... Like, I remember this guy, like, within the first week of the game, he spent $50,000. Because I, I remember watching his stream and I watched his videos. Within the first week, he spent $50,000, man. It might have been two weeks, but I know that it was less than three. When I went into these battlegrounds, I was carrying my team, no matter who was on it, yep. and literally slaughtering every single person. I bet. And so I would go like 40-0, and 50-0, and it didn't matter, right? <laughs> I, I would go 100 battlegrounds yeah, without losing that. a single one. My overall battleground record is somewhere in between 300 and 450 wins with at max three total losses. And one of the losses was from a disconnect. The other losses were basically because I wasn't really paying attention and I got distracted in some sort of way, probably live on Twitch, right? There was never a time where I went in there trying to win and lost a battleground. It never happened. And now, man, I bet that's because he's really good at the game. When you remember every, yeah, it's like, yeah, every specific loss. Well, I mean, there's only three of them. I mean, yeah, I remember all three of the losses. Sure. I mean, definitely. Yeah, th that's how good he is. Th there it is. My matchmaking record is now so high that I literally can't get a battleground. So my question now is, it's like, do I just not do anything about this? Or 
should I hire a lawyer and refund this account and then see what happens then? Like, I, I don't know. So I have my buddy Skelly. I think that you should refund the account because, I mean, you had your fun. You played the game. It's run its course. You might as well get your money back. Yeah, just refund the game. Fuck them. Like, I think so. I mean, yeah, he should get his money back. Because the thing is, like, anybody that's like, oh, no, he shouldn't get his money back. If, listen, if these companies know that somebody could just refund all of their money for the microtransactions, they'll stop making games like this. Because, like, you can't, you, you can't rely on any income. Yeah, 100% refund it. Yeah, get that shit refunded, man. Get the whole thing refunded. I bet he can't. Like, to be honest with you, I'm like... Like 99%, no, I'm not 99% sure. I am more certain than not that this would never actually happen. To hear who just listened to everything that I said. And honestly, I'm just curious to hear what he has to say. What do you think, bro? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty messed up that for you, but in particular, it's really unfortunate for, you know, the 299 other people that are immortals right right so no, it, it is a bad design like it, it is bad design that he can't at least transfer clan leader or uh you know the leader of the battleground to decide who becomes the immortals it's it's bad design he should be able to do that i, I mean i don't i don't know if there's a solution to the problem you know that's immediate right, right. like if, if you go and refund you know the money you've invested yeah, perfect design yeah, yeah it's bad design then it's very possible or it's likely they'll ban your account they will uh, they'll ban my account right? but i can make a new one right and recreate an account that actually can get in battlegrounds sure. yeah spend another sure, 50, sure. I, I, I mean i think if you're looking for yeah. an in-game solution but it's not perfect you know you can maybe choose to lose the right intentionally and then promote someone else to you know a clan leader no dude you're missing the, the i just realized like the way he sits on the uh, on his chair it makes it look like he's wearing the wings from his character in real life i, I don't know why it took me like fucking eight minutes of the video to see that but like yeah he's got five thousand or seven thousand residents irl no no in the, no no in the shadows once your shadow again the problem is, is what happens do i risk never being able to get in a battleground ever again. Do I take that risk yeah. or, you know what I mean? Cause yeah, I have no proof. Forever. Yeah, that, yeah. And, and Blizzard's response to you was they're aware of the issue and nothing beyond that. Yes, right. Blizzard's response yeah. to me was they are now aware of the issue. This was over three weeks ago and they have done nothing about it. How long do I let this proceed? Because if I let this proceed yeah. really any longer, I'm not going to be able to refund yeah. from my bank, right? So it's like, I need to do this sooner than later. It. Otherwise, I have a character. If this character yeah. can never be in a battleground ever again, I don't want this character. Yeah, like, yeah, it's as that. simple as if that. I, if I were in your situation, and that, you know, and I really only care about BGs too, and I couldn't play, and then, then I would probably 100% refund my money. Absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, what else 100. is there that I can do? And this is coming, guys, this guy in the chat with me is somebody who has spent over $40,000 on his character talking just like i am we damn have he spent forty thousand dollars what's your favorite part of the game battlegrounds oh really damn i would have never expected wow <laughs> the world's full of surprises ain't it we have a chat in discord with all the top whales in this game which is oh my god they got a whole discord for it like it's a, it's a whale discord holy shit man whales and proud no a lot of these guys you got to understand like a lot of these guys are you know like let's say they're like a software programmer they're single they're 29 years old they're making a hundred and seventy thousand dollars a year and they have like 30 40 50 thousand dollars a year of expenses they can spend thirty thousand dollars on a video game and it's not a big deal it doesn't affect them at all financially yeah and, and like that's all and, and and crypto rich yeah there's also plenty of other guys that like have a bunch of other money for other other things right so like what i'm saying is that yeah this, this is the investors group exactly the investors discord um these guys like throwing their money around they like being able to fucking pull up in front of the Taco Bell 
and have their Lamborghini there and see kids coming out to the Lamborghini taking pictures in front of it, right? They want to flaunt this. They want to put their dick on the table and say, hey, look at me. Look, look how big it is. This is what they like doing. Yeah, they, they, they are consumers. These are the whales of life. Over 20 people who have all spent over $30,000 to get their five. No, somebody, you said, somebody said that they didn't get attention in high school. Like, that's probably not true. I bet J, J, JT probably had plenty of friends in high school. Like, you, you know what? I, I Like, a lot of the guys that I know that are like this, they had tons of friends in high school. They were assholes in high school. They threw kids in the garbage can in high school. Now they're the manager and the same kids they threw in the garbage can. They're cutting their fucking salary right before they have to pay them fucking their 401k. You know, that, that yeah, they, they go from throwing them in the garbage can to throw them in on the streets. Boom, there it is. There's no karma. Like, I mean, that's just... <laughs> That's what it is. Like, I know it might make you feel good to say, oh, but he didn't have any friends. No, he probably got plenty of friends. He's fine. A thousand residents wings, right? That's it. So it's a lot of heavy wells that we are talking yeah. to. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know what to do in this position. It's currently. outrageous. I'm kind of uh, confused about it. Tomorrow I'm going to go live. So if you guys yeah. want to check me out on Twitch, that's going to be at twitch.tv slash JT is all business. I'm going to be trying to queue up for the battlegrounds nonstop. And honestly, probably talking about this situation, majority mm -hmm. of the stream. He so, should. Yeah. Anything else you wanted to say before I end this video? Have um, you had it? What, what does it say when your the clan members go to that area and click on sign up? Do they even they, have the option to sign up? Yeah, they just sign up. Okay. They, do, so we just. Uh, so if he gets some kind of tax write off from spending money on the game, then ask for a refund. Isn't that fraud? Uh, no, he'd have to. Um, uh, is that a carry forward loss? And then he has to put it in the next year and then uh, attribute that to revenue from a carryover profit from the previous year. I, I, I think that's what you have to do. I, I don't know. I, I'm actually not sure because it, it's like, as I said, I took two years of accounting. The person that can answer that took six. Don't know if you'll actively be able to defend. Right? But yes, he right. will have to pay taxes well, on the money yeah, if he gets it refunded. Yet. Yes, yes. So we'll know okay. tomorrow. And, and if he's making that much money, it will, like, that, that'll show up. That'll show up unless he's doing it through some, you know, fucking obfuscation. If I can actively defend, still my BG issue is not fixed. Yeah. And that's kind of like where I'm getting at. It's not like the immortal thing just steps it up a notch to make me think like, really? Yeah. Like... You know, this is holding us back from being immortals now, which is the whole it's point of this fits, game yeah. entirely. So if uh, it's not tax if it's a refund. Refunds aren't tax. Um, so the refund wouldn't be taxed, but I think that if you if you spend a bunch of money on something, and again, I, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a tax lawyer. Like, I, I don't know this. But like, logically, this is what I think would happen. I think that if you refunded the money, you would have to pay back taxes on the money that is based off of your income bracket for the year that you made that money in, that you spent that money in, that it was written off of your taxes at that time. So you would have to pay taxes. You're right that it would not count as income because income would imply that the money that you receive would count towards determining your current year tax bracket, which is not the case. I don't know why we're talking about this. It doesn't matter. All I'm saying is that he's going to probably have to pay taxes on the money if he gets it back in one way or another. But the fact is that he uh, he should probably refund. That's what I would do if I were him. This isn't going to get fixed over a situation of us becoming immortals. Mm -hmm. Will it actually ever get fixed? You know what I mean? And that's like, I, 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 how can I take that risk whenever I've made an investment this big? True. As, yeah. true. as a, as a full-time job, like I'm true, doing this true, every day. Yeah. I've been streaming so for true. a month on this game. I put 340 hours in in one That's month it. streaming this game. You know what I mean? Like, am I just going to always stream this game, support the game, even though I can't do my favorite part of the entire game? Like, fuck I, that. I don't know. You know, I don't yeah, know. So. Fuck that. pretty patient. It's been about a month. Yeah. I, I don't think I would have waited that long personally yeah you know it's been a long time so yeah anyway guys um this is the situation i'm in let me know in the comments below this video what would you guys do i want to hear like what would you guys do let me know in the comments below 
Um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, guys, hope y'all have a wonderful night. Peace out, fellas. Wow. Wow, we. Holy shit. This dude spent a hundred thousand motherfucking dollars. This is JT. Listen, I'll link the video of y'all to watch it. We've watched JT. JT, a, he's a good sport, right? We memed on JT a little bit for spending money on Diablo Immortal. He's been chill as fuck. I, I, I kind of like the guy, to be honest with you. Uh, spending that much money on a game is dumb as fuck, but I think he knows that to an extent. A and so, listen, it's amazing to me that somebody can spend $100,000 to get fucked in the ass. Most times, people only have to spend a couple grand for that. But he spent 100 k and that's what happened to him. It's obviously bullshit that that happened. Like, I mean, I know obviously people are not going to have sympathy for him because it's like, oh, it's a whale. So, like, who cares what happens to him? But, like, the truth is, like, he shouldn't have got goofed around like this. This is not, like, it's, it's bad for him. It's bad for his whole clan. It's bad for Blizzard. It's bad for advertising. It's bad for everybody. Like, it's just, it is Blizzard fucked up. Now, nobody's going to give a fuck because, again, people don't like whales. But it should not have happened. Uh, so, yeah, I do hope that it gets it fixed. I do hope that somehow it, uh, it gets fixed, right? And, uh, yeah, he got benched on that. I don't know exactly what all happened with this. But in general, uh, this game, this shit can happen. You, yeah, I'll read some of the comments. You guys are the reason why Blizzard will continue to make games like this. Vote with your wallet. They did. That's why they're keeping making games like that. Congratulations, you just won in a pay-to-win game. Can't complain about that. You got what you paid for. No, we didn't because he was paying to eat minnows and there's no minnows for him to eat. Blizzard said, you're full. And he says, no, I'm not. I'm still fucking hungry. Keep on feeding me. That's not what it was. He didn't get what he wanted. This used to happen to like RBG groups. It's like we would have an MMR so high. This is like in Cataclysm that we would not even be able to be queued in to anybody. We could not queue into a single team because we were like 2,800 and nobody else was even remotely close and everybody who was close would not queue because then we would beat them and take their rating. So we would eventually wait for like, it was like, what was it? Six or eight minutes. And then it would make it to where you would queue into anybody. So the moment that eight minutes would roll over, we would immediately hit a queue. We'd go in and it's a Rathy Basin. Everybody in our team is like fucking rank one gladiator, fully fucking geared, elite gear. And then the team on the other side is 1200 rated. And, and that's the way it used to work in WoW. Yeah, you got the whole buffet. Yeah, there you go, man. And it's like, yeah, guys, can I go DPS this time? They're like, yeah, sure, you go DPS. It'd be fine. Yeah, it's my turn on the other side. Yeah, top one versus two. Yeah, they just got destroyed. All I can say is congratulations. You're the first player in history to complete a freemium game. I think that he should wear it. I think that this is not something to complain about. I think that he won. I actually think these people are right. I think that JT legitimately beat the game now. Because he has ascended beyond a level that is even... There is literally, mathematically, numerically, nobody on his level. He is beyond everyone. He has ascended beyond the human scope. He is the immortal. Even if he's not in the game. Yeah, he's he, yeah he's beyond immortal, and so yeah he's ascended beyond ascended. Yeah, there you go. So I actually think this is fair. Look at this. This game's working as intended. The fact that the armor prints you matching up is a good thing. If there had been any other person impulsive enough to play a hundred can digital armor, it would match you up with that person. But if you said yourself, you're the only person in the world inclined to do so. So you're paid your way to the top. Now you're whining that you have nobody to play with. Uh, why do you even find battlegrounds fun when you're simply winning because you paid more money? Well, I can tell you why. It's the word that I just highlighted. You guys see what that word is? What's that word, guys? Does anybody know how to read in here? Any readers in chat? Winning. That's fucking right. Hashtag winning. Exactly. He got what he paid for. Yeah. I think that he beat the game. I think that... It's like, this is... This is something that you only see in, like, anime shows. That somebody ascends to a power level that is so high that they can no longer be comprehended by, like, mortal minds. Yeah, this is some fucking anime shit. He is so high up there, nobody else can even compete against him. 
It's like, this is the fucking, like, get, this is like the existential arc, end of, like, season seven. And then they end the show, because they don't know where to go anymore. Like, it, it's fucking over. You beat the game. It's time for a new game. Is it winning, though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's winning. Hell yeah, it's winning. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. So yeah, Diablo Immortal making over a hundred million dollars has got 30 million players established by the uh, uh, the Twitter. This one is confirmed. The hundred million is, however, a projection, and uh, not a surprise. Uh, boycotts didn't work. Who could have predicted that? Hopefully, we'll be able to have legislation on this soon, so people like this guy and other people like this. Uh, you know, at least if they're going to spend this much money, they know what they're buying. I think that this amount of money, the extrapolation of this money happens, the, uh, like, like compounding variables, the amount of money they spend. The reason why this is enabled is the fact that it's hard to see how much money is actually being spent for each item because they're all random rolls. Remove the RNG. Remove the currencies that obfuscate how much real money you're spending, and I can guarantee you nobody's going to be spending $100,000 on these games except for rich. That's a fact. That's what it is.